and we back. Today we're winning five championships, but every time we win a championship, we have to be the cheapest team in the NBA. For the entirety of NBA 2K23, for every challenge that I fail, I'm giving one of y'all a jersey of your choice. So if you think I'm gonna fail this challenge, comment down below your Twitter and I'll be picking a winner in a week. But that's only if I fail, which I ain't trying to do today. I'm trying to prove the fact that buying a championship is not the only way you can get them, all right? So I'm stopping at three and two and at one. We're running with the Dallas Mavericks who have not won a championship since 2011, which was actually not even that long ago. We're gonna have pick number seven. Okay, now, the last, last year's champion, the Golden State Warriors, were like the, the most expensive team of all time. Uh, and, and I'm trying to do the exact opposite of that. So this is a team they drafted. Uh, Steph Curry, Zach Levine, Andrew Wiggins. First of all, all three of these players are on max contracts. So we <laughs> we already are failing the challenge based on the draft. $48 million, $37 million, $33 million. Robert Lopez only 13. Russell Westbrook on 47 for one year. Yeah, we legit might be the most expensive team in the NBA right now. So we're doing the exact opposite. Our salary cap, our cap space is negative $100 million. Now I got to go around the league to see if that's the highest or I mean the lowest or that's going to confuse me all video. Yeah, the only team that's even close to us is this Lakers team. That's Kawhi Leonard, um, Julius Randle, Rudy Gobert, Mike Conley's $22 million, And they, they even got Robert Covington down there making make it 12. So the way we're going to figure out if we're the cheapest team in the league is basically just looking at the cap space and having the highest number. Somehow the Timberwolves have $37 million in cap space. I mean, they drafted the youngest team in the league. That's what it's about. The only person outside of their rookie deal is, is Trey Young right now. Rookie deal, rookie deal. Well, I guess it's not a rookie deal, but a small deal. Rookie deal, small deal. Man's making a minimum. He's, he's a six man of the team. So uh, we got to match that somehow. $37 million in salary cap is crazy. Oh, it's not crazy enough because the Utah Jazz have it have it easier or has less, more. More money to spend. How about we just keep saying it like that? Now, there is a strategy for us to basically give them Russell Westbrook and then immediately they don't have any salary cap space. So I'm going to have to game the system every single year. Right? So, but we still have to win a championship. So how do we build a championship team where nobody's getting paid no money, where we got to try to get as many people on rookie deals as possible? Like, for example, Ja Morant is a player we can get now, and then we have to trade him in the offseason because that's when his contract really kick in. Jalen Brown's contract is $28 million, which is not a lot. I think we can afford... Oh, yeah, Tyrese Halliburton's a guy we should go out there and get for sure because uh, he's going to be cheap for two years minimum. And then he's going to get money. So Tyrese is actually the number one dude we should go after. Now, is Tyrese going to be able to be the best player on the championship team? Probably not. Not at this rate, at least. So we got to do more than that. We can probably fit one player that's near a max contract. Darius Garland, another dude that's making pennies come, uh, until next season. Anthony Edwards. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, a Larry Market is a perfect dude. He's making $16 million and he's an 86 overall. I would change his shot, Tennessee, so he can actually dominate and play as great as he is in real life. But, like, players like that. And I wonder, let me go back towards the top of the league. If there's any people, like Demontis Sabonis, near 90 overall player. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting an idea of how to do this challenge. But what I got to remember is we basically got to do this every season. Our team will not look the same any year in a row. Well I, well, I guess you could say if I get all rookies this year, but you get what I'm saying. We're going to be having to fluctuate this roster a ton to get these five championships. Oh, I was going to say Tyrese, but actually Tyrese is pretty simple to get in the game. The, the benefit of trying to get Tyrese now is we might be able to get Josh Giddy too, or maybe Benedict Math, like something like that. Benedict Matherin is a rookie and AEO Raw is pretty dope. But I, maybe I should be using the Steph Curry trade piece to try to get Zion. But then again, it's only one year of Z. But this one is multiple years of Ty I'm going to try to get Tyrese and Benedict Matherin. I, I want Buddy Heald. I'm, I'm sorry, Buddy Heald. What the heck did that come from? I want Josh Giddy, But he just has one less year on his contract. And he's a little bit more expensive. So we'll give them Steph Curry. Not Zach Levine. Zach Levine's a part of a different trade. We'll give them Steph Curry. We, we'll give you uh, Jordan McLaughlin. And then you give us back a first round pick to, I'm going to ask for, for all the picks. Actually, I also want a uh, chat is okay. Now I'm probably asking for two months, but I got to at least try it. I'm giving you Steph Curry, top player of all time in the history of bat. One of the biggest and best players to ever pick up a basketball. They're saying no. So we'll take away one pick. We'll take away two picks. We'll take away chat and then add the picks back. How about that? Okay. We'll take away chat. We'll add the picks back. Two picks with Benedict Matherin and, and, and Tyrese have more, two picks. Huh. And if I do reverse trade finder, they're straight up say give us Steph Curry and Gabriel Deck. What about 
for Josh Giddy. Nothing. Um, what about for Chet? They want Steph Curry and Terrence Davis. I think I might rather have... Uh, Benedict Mathen is the better player now, but Chevy won a defensive player of the years, and he's a rookie too. This is tough, bro. All right, Danny Ainge, you win. You win. You can have him. You can have him. You can have him. It's yours. All right? All right, I got finesse. Whatever. It's not going to be a finessing once we win this championship. Let's go get Z now. We'll give you... Um, uh, we'll give you Zach Levine, but oh yeah, the money's gonna be a bit weird, huh? Nicholas Claxton is the perfect center to have for this video. I know we traded for Chet, but like Nicholas Claxton's making nothing for his production right now. Uh, and I'm just gonna look at the, I'm gonna put the Cavs in my notes. We're gonna go to the Cavs later in the video. I don't want CJ McCollum, but I do I do want Nicholas Claxton, so we'll keep that in the back of our mind. Matter of fact, let's get it done now. We're getting Clint Capella in that deal too. We'll just flip Clint Capella. Um, I'm, I might put Chet as a four because he can shoot a little bit and in the game of 2k if you got length and size You're gonna win a bunch of games. So that, that's the that's the mindset at the moment um, as, as we try to figure out the rest the 76 have Larry market and another guy that I said I wanted to get Let's just get all of the length and size. What is Larry in this game? Is he a power forward? Is he still a small? Okay, so it's, it's a small forward. They're probably going with like Zach Levine. Oh, they want Wiggins in the pick They want Tyrese Chet Okay, we could do Wiggins in a pick, and then we'll just flip John Collins. I think that's a really good trade to get us cheaper. So right now, our core is Tyrese. It is it is Larry Market and Nicholas Claxton and Chet Holmgren. That's our core. Dang, this, the Thunder have Anthony Everts, Palo, and Lonzo, and A.J. Griffin. A.J. Griffin is a guy I want to add to my, my target list. He's really good. Simple as that. Simple as that. He's really good and also a rookie. Add him to the list. But Anthony Everts is like the prime guy right now. Um, so maybe we'll go talk to them again. I'll give them Zach Levine, but I don't know if they would even be interested in that type of trade. Zach Levine, they got to make up 20. I thought they had some cap space. We only have three first round picks left. Oh, they, they, go, they want all of them. And then they'll give me one back for this year. Oh yeah, that's a deal. That's a deal. Anthony Edwards is welcome to the team. So right now our core is pretty solid. I think it's pretty good. I'm going to Chet, make Chet a four. His overall probably is going to drop. Stays the same. Okay. So as of right now, we have our starting five with our core. It looks like this. Um, and we'll take this. But now we got to get rid of Clint Capella's contract, Russell Westbrook's contract. Zubac could be safe potentially. John Nigg's contract's got to go. And then and then John Collins. We got, we got a lot of contracts we got to get rid of to get cheaper players. First round pick in Jared Vanderbilt. Welcome to the team. Jared Vanderbilt's making $4 million. That is an easy, easy trade for us. Julius Randle is on a sneaky good deal. Three years, $27 million. I, I don't really want to give them Vanderbilt though. Can we just... Oh, that's, they're not going to do that. They Okay, they really want Van Vando. Uh, I feel like I can get Vando back if I need him. I'm going to do this deal to get Julius Randle on the team. Um, and, and we'll see. We'll see. If we can flip him later, we will. But, like, I think we need another all-star kind of a player. So, uh, Chad is probably just going to be a, a pseudo six-man for right now. And we got to get Russell Westbrook's contract off the books. I, I, I don't know if there's going to be a team really out there that's interested that can save us some money. We'll do the Spencer Dinwiddie and Gordon Hayward one, and then we got to trade both of those dudes. But I'm just slowly trying to get that contract down. I mean, Gordon Hayward's 30 million is insane. There's just so many centers, bro. We got Nicholas Claxton, we had Chet, and now we might get Jalen Duran. Yeah, I mean, if that's the position to need, I mean, it's not really. We, we still got Zoo down here who's making 10, but that's another rookie deal. That's another rookie deal. I mean, the core that we're creating could probably play together for two years before people start making real money, which is dope. I'm going to do these other trades, John Isaac, Josh Richardson, and then Gary uh, Gary Harris. And then I'll show y'all what we what we built. And hopefully it's cheap enough to be the least expensive team in basketball. Julius Rand is too expensive, unfortunately. We got to trade him, but we're getting to Jonte Murray. Two-year deal, $16 million each year around there. Um, so I think we're gonna run Lowry at the four, DeJounte at the two, and put Anthony Edwards at the three, and, and we'll probably run it that way. Our bench right now is Jalen Duran, it's Trey Jones, it's Shake Melton. I, I, you know, it, it ain't the most complete team, but it might be, so $27 million in cap space to see if there's any team, there's 26 million. Uh, 27 million might be the, the lowest, or the high, again, that's gonna mess me up. We might be the cheapest team in basketball right now. And we are. Beautiful. That's it. I just need to be the cheapest team in basketball. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to be the cheapest team of all time just in basketball right now. And we got a player like Rui Hachimura who's um, a 79 overall. He's making $6 million. I could probably get another 79 overall 
that that's cheaper than this so save a little bit more but since we already the cheapest i don't need to make any more trades but we're, we're missing some some depth for sure it feels like do we think that this team can win it all this season because if it is this season we got to win it five years um I don't, I don't know let me make larry a four real quick uh they want tyree so yeah they, their asking price is pretty high but this is probably the best we got of course we really do like trey murphy around here but aj is just younger longer on this deal Trigger Trey Murphy found out he's in a dunk contest coming up very soon. Excited to see that. Uh, so we're giving up basically two rotational players for one and then bringing back a Gary Harris contract. We'll do it. And then we'll just get rid of Gary Harris in a second and just fulfill that, that role of a backup. What we need? Like a backup two? Yeah, let's go get a backup two that's for cheap. I need a backup two. I'm bringing in Kevin Porter Jr. We're going to move him over to that position. And boom, we're, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh, I just made him a center. Okay. Uh, definitely don't want that. There's his shooting guard position, and I got to double check to make sure we're still the cheapest team in basketball. We're gonna run it at a 10-man rotation. Um, let's let's see. Please just still stay. 33 million. Oh, we cut even more money. Nobody's even close at 33 million dollars in cap space. Simulate the first week. Let's see. Game one is a loss. Game two is a win. Okay. No, no big deal. Uh, you got to give us some type of reassurance that this could be a season that we win a championship. Uh, we're three and three. That's not ideal. Here's the win streak, though. There's the there's a little bit of win streak. Okay, we got it. We got a chance. We got a legitimate chance. They better stop playing with us. We built a good team. 15 and five through 20. Jason Kidd, coach of the year, 57 wins on the season. The defense, lot to be desired, but the offense is one of the best in the league. We are the Orlando. I mean, not we are the uh, uh, Den Dallas Mavericks. And we do not have an all-NBA player. We do not have an all-defensive team player. Even though we could have traded for, for um, Robert Williams, we do have Jalen Duran winning or a part of the rookie team. And then that's that's it. Okay. One seeded, coach of the year. We got to win five championships. The first round, we're going against the Thunder, who we made a trade with. We gave them Zach Levine. I mean, as far as young, entertaining, fun teams, this might be the best series of all time. You know what I'm saying? Lonzo Ball, Tyrese Halliburton, Zach Levine, DeJounte Murray. There's a lot of Seattle here. DeJounte Murray, Zach Levine, Paolo Bencaro, all Seattle kids. We got Isaac Corbo, Anthony Edwards, Paolo, Larry Martin. Like, this is one of the best series, man. Every every NBA nerd loves this series because it's going to show us who the future of basketball is. But the difference is, we not just the future hoops, we the present as well, right? Let's shorten this rotation. <laughs> Let's shorten his rotation just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let's shorten this. Nicholas Claxton is upset because he doesn't shoot the ball. It's just, it's it's annoying, but it is what it is. And then Larry is still upset, even though he got touches. We I changed his shot, Tennessee. He got touches this year. Still upset. And we're up 3-2. And then we get to the, the second round. Okay, cool. Now we're going to get Steph Curry. Steph Curry took the team of the young boys. This young old team got him to the second round of the playoffs. A round of applause for Wardell, Stephen Curry. They even take game one. And Steph Curry is average at 30 in the playoffs. But in this game, it was Jordan Clarkson and Josh Giddy. A guy in Giddy who I wanted to add to the team a little bit earlier, but decided to go with the, the, the younger dude, Chet. And Chet don't even play yet. He's going to play next season. I promise you he's going to play next season. I've seen his progression in this game. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, this is going to be one of the harder challenges just because when you're young, when you're young in this game, you don't stand a big chance in a lot of these series. They're also young. Don't get me wrong. But they also have Steph Curry, one of the greatest to ever do it. Who is the Steph Curry stopper? I mean, we have to put DeJounte on him, right? We have to put DeJounte on him. So let's go, go change it in the against the Utah Jazz. Uh, Steph Curry, 81? That's it? His rating is about the same as, like, putting a center on him. Oh, that's just not true, 2K. Here we go. He's our best option. They, they win the first quarter. They're winning the second quarter. So they win the first half. Second half, a lot of big third quarter. We win the third quarter by by uh, 18 points, but the, the fourth quarter we lose about eight with seven minutes to go. That's a nice little run. We're up. It's not even close anymore. Okay, we're going a big run in that second half. We win the second half, and we end up winning the game. Oh, man, it shouldn't have been that difficult, but it was anyway. Now we're going to get the six seed of Portland Trailblazers who have Chris Paul at the two, Kyle Lowry at the one, and Joel Embiid at the five. They backcourt is small and old. They the opposite of what we are. You know what I'm saying? 6'5", six, six, Tyrese. We also got 6'5", DeJounte. We're, we're bigger and younger than them. They not ready. That backcourt we got is too too crazy. And we got Nicholas Claxton versus Joel. We get in the finals to go against MVP Luka Doncic, who has uh, Devin Vassell. He also has a young team. Dean Wade is at the 3-0. Anthony Edwards is about to cook Dean Wade. At least that's the idea. Game one. 
is a win for the Mavericks. It wasn't even Anthony Edwards. It was a 2020 game for Tyrese because that's just what he do in simulation. He does crazy stuff like that. Um, and Larry Mark, and I don't want to see you upset no more. You're getting all the touches. And as of right now, you like the runner-up to uh, uh, finals MVP behind Tyrese because he's averaging uh, 30 and 15. And, oh, my God, the marksman. The marksman. It's so unfortunate that that we might have to trade him this offseason. We might have to trade him this offseason because he got one more year on this deal. All right, let's just get out of here. First win, first championship. First championship. Okay, it's done. Almost didn't do it, but it's done. Okay. Now, we have to stay the cheapest team in the league, and that's that's going to be tough. <laughs> We'd have to flip Brandon Ingram because he's, he's too expensive. We traded for James Wiseman to use him as a trade chip. You know what? We're still going to do this deal. I'm sorry, Mr. Marketing. I would have loved to keep you on the roster, but we had to do what we had to do. I mean, we're just too expensive right now. We no longer are the cheapest team in basketball. Uh, and we also drafted this guy. He's a 78 overall rookie with the 16th overall pick. He's 23, so he's, he's already an older rookie. I don't even know if he's going to progress. But, like, for the for the value, he's a really, really good draft pick. Power four. He actually might even play this season. Next thing we have to do is trade Brandon Ingram. We can bring in Alperin Sengun and then Aaron Neesmith. We, but we already have Clax and we already have Chet Holmes. All of the cheap players in basketball are centers, bro. We're going to do it. Welcome to the team, Franz Wagner. Okay, so right now we have $33 million in cap space. We do have roster spots to fill, so it won't be that high when the season comes because we need a backup point guard. We need a backup shooting guard. I actually can make AJ Griffin a backup shooting guard. We'll do that. Um, but we do need some backup. So it won't be that cheap. But it looks like we're in a good spot to try to repeat. Uh, change the core up a little bit. And still be the youngest team in basketball. Or not the youngest. The cheapest. I mean, those two things are kind of the same, right? Especially when we talk about 2K. Progression was dope. 390 plus overall players. How many of them will be on the team next season? Well, not a lot of them. But it is what it is. Uh, DeJounte is also getting better. We probably have to trade DeJounte the more I think about it. Um, so we don't lose him for nothing because he's on definitely on the last year of his deal. So we might trade him away. Um, and you know what? I might go get Larry Marketing back. I might go get Larry Marketing back. Simple as that. They also give me a pick, top three protected. You, you know how we love the picks around here. So, okay, I don't even know how we run our lineup. We just have some crazy depth. We'll put uh, Anthony Edwards back at the two. You know, go back to his original position. So they want to start Franz. And then we have off the bench Mr. Marketing. I mean, I can't be mad at that. I can't be mad at that at all. Um, Chet is here and he finally getting minutes and then AJ Griffin don't get no minutes. We, we're running as a 10 so AJ can get minutes as well. Uh, yeah, bro. I mean, this, this rookie, he, he gonna be nice next season if his progression is decent. So I think we still got a team that can win it up. We got 390 plus overall players and then we got some people that's over 85, you know, that's, that's a good recipe. Jason Kidd, even better than last year, 69 wins and a nice amount. And we're about to go on and hopefully win championship number two of the challenge. Do we have anybody on our Dallas Mavericks? The answer is no. We traded away DeJounte. He made an all defensive team. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? We had to do, we had to do, Mark Williams finally got minutes. Same thing with Malachi Branham. And then Dyson Daniels got zero minutes his rookie season. Now he's all rookie now. Anthony Edwards is blossoming before our very eyes. He averaged 26 points per uh, double digit or double double for Tyrese Halliburton. Lowry still at about 15. Who's upset? Somebody's got to be upset. Someone always is. Actually, nobody is upset with their playtime, with their touches. Everybody's on fire. We, we should walk to the NBA Finals, right? We should just... We should walk. I ain't even trying to look at no team. If you don't take a game away from me, I'm not even looking to see who's on your roster. We're in the conference finals to go against the Utah Jazz. We sweep the Western Conference, and now we're back with a good old matchup, the good old rematch. Did they have Jeremy Sochan or Jared Allen last season? I don't think they did. I don't think they did. Can we sweep 16-0, the, the cheapest team in basketball? Uh, 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 please? Okay, it's not a sweep, but, but, but it can happen in six, and we, it does. Uh, Okay, now the challenge really, really starts because majority of these players are up for extensions and stuff. And if we can't convince them to take a little amount of money, they all might get traded. Um, potential fourth overall pick, we get the third overall pick. This is why we love doing those random trades because it always feels like we finessing. We always finessing. That's just what we do. All right, so we're going to go to the draft. We're going to use the third overall pick. I did zero scouting. But if I do the same thing I did last year and draft the best player available, um, Howard Jeffries is first out of Northern Iowa. Second overall pick is Percy McDaniels from Memphis. Both seven-footers going first and second. The potential first overall pick, Damon Starks, is still here. Hall of Famer, Aaron McKee. I, that's a big range, my guy. Um, Nate Bird 
George Hill or Mario Chalmers, Mario Chalmers, we're going to go with Starks. Uh, and, and, and that's going to be our guy. It's going to be our guy. We're going to have him just chill and get better every single season. This guy has a deep plus. You know what? We're in the second round. I don't care about that pick. 81 overall, by the way. 81 overall. Projected first overall pick. He's 6'5". He plays the point guard. Dude is about to be a stud. We just, we just found our insurance in case... Dang. Um, I don't really need Cam Thomas. We'll, we'll save some money there. In case some of these other guards, the Tyrese Halliburton, the Anthony Edwards, these dudes start, you know, getting some more money. We got the next guy up in line. Um, so this, so these players have hit restricted free agency. We got to pray that they don't accept no offer sheet from nobody else. That's our job right now. Nicholas Claxton is an unrestricted free agent. We cannot bring him back. I did not even realize. I Okay, I will bring him back. I will bring him back, and then we're going to trade him as soon as he say he wants the deal. How about that? Because I didn't even realize that he was on the last of his deal. And now that they took the hair off Nicholas Claxton finally in his uh, player update or his player model, he looks kind of weird. I won't even lie. Anthony Edwards is trying to get an offer sheet. And now Tyrese is trying to get the offer sheet. We're, we're going to have to trade both of those dudes. Oh, man. Oh, man. They making too much bread. That sucks, bro. Our two best players. I mean, Tyrese was great for us for the entirety of this. Two championships, you know, doing his thing. He's got He's got to get... We have to stay the youngest team in basketball. But you know what? We should do it in the offseason so we can see what we're up against. That's what I That's what I got to do. Wait to the offseason so we can see what we're up against. And that'll that'll let us know when we should make the trades and what we should trade it for. Um, but I'm not, I'm not loving the fact that we already lose in this core, bro. Three, we got three more rings. We're not even halfway there. You know what I'm saying? We less than halfway there. We got three more rings to get. And these dudes is getting better. Um, okay, so this guy jumped up. He's a rotational player now. Chet is up to an 83. We might move Chet, bro. He's not progressing the way I thought he normally does. I thought I could have swore by this time he's like an 85, but instead he's just that. That sucks, bro. That sucks. All right, we got deals to make, decisions to make, man. And this is, this, this is the hardest part of the video. What I'm going to do is just trade for the best player available that's cheap. Paolo Bencaro has got like an extra year until we got to pay him. Um, but let, let me go around the entire league just to double check. But I think that might be the best option right now uh, because everybody else, I mean, look at those salaries. Everybody's 30 million. Kate Cunningham, but he's going to get his money next year. Uh, Evan Mobley, oh my God, I'm going to have to pay Evan Mobley next season. Bro, Jalen Green, oh man. Everybody from that class is about to get their payday. Josh Giddy, they all about to get their payday. The cheapest dude available. That's the highest overall that doesn't that isn't in for a, a, a money increase next season is Robert Williams, bro. Uh, we got this guy, Casey Phillips, former first overall pick. He's probably considered untouchable. Casey Phillips might end up on the team. Let me put Miami Heat in my notes, cause I that, that's the that's the only guy. That's the only guy. He's got three years under team control. And it like he progressing phenomenally. We might have to trade for you. We might have to trade for you. Yeah, Palo's got one more year. So we might do the Palo deal too. So I'm adding OKC there. Um, and then that's it. Now we get into territory of Vucevic back with the Orlando Magic. That These players ain't, ain't going to be carrying us to a championship. We do got x of Jay Nivey. Oh, boy. Jabari Smith Jr. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're going to prioritize getting that center from Miami Heat. And then we're going to go and try to get Palo Bancaro. Because as of right now, we have to trade Reese. Ant-Man, Claxton, and then marketing because he's unrestricted this season. So those are our big core, and those are the pieces we have to trade. Just straight up, I'm going to try to do this deal. They say no. Uh, we got we give you your pick back. It's top five protected. Oh, top three protected. You're bad. The Pistons pick is really good. Come on, just, just accept the deal. Just accept the deal. Thank you. We gave up a ton to make that happen, but we got the center of the future and Casey Phillips. Now we can trade Anthony Edwards for Paolo Bencaro. Please pop up. There's Paolo. Okay, great. He does pop up. Shane Sharp has one more year as well. So maybe that's another dude. We've seen some simulations where Shane Sharp is, is ridiculous by year three. Um, the Z trade is crazy, but obviously we can't do that because he's too expensive. Patrick Williams is too expensive. Josh Giddy too expensive after this season. Oh, boy, oh, boy. All right, yeah. So we got we to gotta go get the... Um, this trade is interesting, but only one year left. We got to do the Paolo Bencaro. We'll flip Alonzo Ball. Uh, so that's that's the deal. So Lowry and Lonzo and Claxton are the next to go. Let's see how... I mean, I know we're very far. Oh, my God. We we're minus 50 million? What's the cheapest team in ball right now? 
How far do we have to go? Minus 9 million? Is there nobody that's salary cap is positive? There's no positive salary cap in all of basketball. So we just have to get ours below minus 9. Okay, so that's good. That's good to know. It's good to know. It's good to know. I mean, we get Zoe off the team and the Clacks off the team. We basically there. We also got Ken Porter Jr.'s back. We, we got to trade him. He's too expensive. Larry Market and, and Karis LeVer for Sharp and Kenya Martin uh, Jr., who will probably end up trading anyway. Um, so as of right now, we still have the Lonzo Ball piece and Nicholas Claxton piece. Those are the last two dominoes to fall. It's just really hard to find a trade that you feel good about. I mean, the Robert Williams deal is going to be there, $12 million. I, uh, that might be the best we can do. I mean, I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to keep looking. There's Benedict Mathurin, but they want they want Chris Nance. And I, I believe that Chris Nance is going to be really good. So I'm not trading him just yet. I'm just doing a bunch of trades, trading down salaries over and over and over again. Because that's, that's the only way we can make anything happen. Kevin Porter Jr. is back for the hundredth time in a video, but we're throwing him right back. Uh, because since nobody has salary cap space, I can't just trade a bad contract to somebody and say, take them because nobody has room to take anything. So I'm going to keep doing a bunch of what seemed like nothing trades to get to the point where this roster spot is not making any money. We just traded it down to 12 million and now we throw it back to get somebody that's worth 9 million. And then we're going to throw that back to get somebody that's worth 7 million. We're just going to keep doing that until we save the money. That, that's the strategy right now. Seven mil. Oh, I don't want to give up a first, though. I don't want to give up a first to lose that money. See, like this. Boom. Rookie contract. He'll never play. I mean, unless his progression is crazy. But, like, he'll never play. So, just like that, we've, we've downed a little bit. Um, Pat Connaughton is not worth that $9 million because he won't play on this team. So, we'll throw him. We still got Lonzo Ball to trade. I keep forgetting that. Well, let's figure it out. So, we minus 18. Who's lower than minus? Okay, so there's a lower minus 15. So minus eight. Okay, so we got to get to minus eight. That feels like the the lowest in the league. Okay, cool. So yeah, we do have to trade. So I was trying to figure out if there's a world we kept on the team. That world doesn't exist, my guys. It just doesn't exist. So we do have to trade him. We don't have any point guard play, like at all. We we got we got zero point guard play. So whatever we trade him for, we need somebody else that can run the one. I mean, the Josh Giddy one keeps pop popping up. We we're gonna have to pay him next season. So I don't even know if it's worth. Sharp has an extra year, so we don't want to throw him in there. Davion Mitchell is going to be the starting point guard of our team this season. That's like the best we could have got. That's like the best we could have got, man. Oh, this is rough. I don't, I don't know if we won in the championship this season. That's how, that's how bad it is at the moment. This is what the team looks like. We got a lot of higher overall players for sure. We're going to go back to a 10. Oh, Jock Vaughn is our coach now? Okay, I'm sorry, Jason Kidd. I don't know what happened to you. We got to run this guy. He, he's a, he's uh, the third overall pick. He can't not get Pete. He can't not get Pete. You know what I'm trying to say. He has to play. Legit, he could start, right? Can we start him over Davion? Uh, wait, let me see what you're good at. Not a good shooter, but great defender, great playmaker. I'm starting you over Davion Mitchell, bro. I'm starting you over Davion Mitchell. You deserve to get that. You deserve to get that. Davion, you're gonna get some PT for sure. But I'm I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it to this guy. Um I'm gonna start the auto-generated rookie over Robert Williams, considered I paid all of the price to get him. He better start. Um Yeah. Franz probably at the two. You know, big lineups, good playmaking point guard, big lineups. I uh, all right, first game of the season. Does our streak end at two? That's the question. We win the first two games of the season pretty easily. Sharp, great off the bench. That's good to see. Um, Starks in the second game, great performance. Maybe I'm over overthinking it. Maybe we are as good as those other teams, but I, I don't know. Rookie of the year, that's why we gave you the opportunity, Damon. But if you, you tripping in the playoffs, we're going to set you. You win at number 19, which I don't really like. Tyrese is now a six man. See, that's the, you deserve so much better. But welcome, welcome to winning an award, I guess. Um, Steve Clifford won Coach of the Year and not our Jock Vaughn. All right. Jock, you might get you might get fired in this playoffs if things don't go right. Clifford is still over there in Charlotte, so they're doing something over there. I don't know who over there. We're gonna see them in the finals, maybe, hopefully. Uh first round, we're going against Trey Young, Brandon Ingram, and, and Yaka Kongu. That should be a pretty easy series. And we get out of there in five. Great. Jokic, De'Aaron Fox, Poole, Keegan Murray. That's kind of nasty. Let's see if if uh nope. Nope, 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 nope. Robert Williams is upset because he's coming off the bench and stuff. Nope. Um, hmm. To the rookie of the year to not playing it. I mean, he's playing good. 
He's playing good right now. I can't just actually his assist to turnover ratio is about one for for a point guard that's awful. We're down 3-0. I I had a feeling about this team. Obviously, they're not nearly as talented as the other ones. Uh, um, J Jacques Vaughn, you're getting fired. Um, and we're we're bringing in uh, Ty Lu. Make some adjustments for us, Lou. Whatever you whatever you need to whatever you need to do to, to to win us this championship, please do it because we need it. We're down 0-3 now. We've seen crazy things happen on this channel. We're down 0-3 to Jokic, De'Ara Fox, and company. I think we lost this challenge. Yeah, yeah. We got, not only did we lose, we got swept, bro. Dang, I was, you know what I really thought? I thought that if we can, if we can ease past this season, we'd win the challenge. Because we had this guy, like, I'm gonna go to see what he progressed, these people progressed to. We had this guy, we had Palo, we had, and then our former number three overall pick. I think all of those dudes are gonna progress to be really good. Also, for every challenge I lose on this channel, I'm giving away a jersey to somebody um, in the comment section. So comment down on your Twitter, and I'll be picking a winner a week after this video is released. Okay. I think I, I think I said that in the beginning, but if I didn't, there it is again. And um, I, we have the seventh overall pick. The challenge is over. It's over. I don't care about the pick. I don't care who you draft. I just want to see the player progression. We got two seasons in as trying to be the cheapest team in basketball, and we lost. So that, that sucks. I won't say that this challenge is un impossible. But it's extremely hard because no matter who you trade for, they're eventually going to hit restricted free agency. And once they hit restricted free agency, it's kind of it's kind of over with for everything. You know, it's kind of over with. Um, and they even telling me straight up, you should renounce the rights of these people. I'm not doing it. So, yeah, he had 90 overall. Um, plus five for Mr. Starks. Oh, man, bro. It was we would have been so close. Like this team is good. This team would have been good enough to compete. I think. Um, but we did pay Evan Mobley, so we would have had to trade Evan Mobley, and we would have had to trade... Oh, no, Franz Wagner just didn't get any options, so he just took his qualifying. Either way, we lost. If you enjoyed the video, man, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a ton. It helps more people get visibility of us failing these challenges. I guess. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow.